The oceans are ageless. For millennia, water has lapped at the shoreline, ebbing and flowing with the tides. These rocky pools experience too low and too high tides each day. It makes for a challenging life for the plants and animals that call this area home. Hi, my name is Claudia and we are standing here in one of the most famous tide pools in California, the Great Tide Pool located in Pacific Grove. The Great Tide Pool is one of the many areas along the northern and central California coast where visitors can see some of the special creatures that live in this unusual habitat. Other spots include natural bridges in Santa Cruz, Point Lobos, south of Carmel, and Montana de Oro near Morro Bay. This is an incredible area to view wildlife, especially during low tide. You're bound to see hermit crabs, sea stars, mussels, and if you're lucky, maybe even a nudibranch. This sea lemon nudibranch gets its name both from its appearance and because of another unusual defense mechanism it releases a fruity odor that keeps predators at bay. Some nudibranchs have stinging cells in the tentacles on their back to help fend off predators. Anemones also have stinging cells, but they use theirs to capture and eat prey. These soft body creatures must stay submerged so they don't dry out and die. Hermit crabs have soft bellies. To protect themselves, they adopt empty snail shells as their homes, carrying them around on their backs. Unlike crabs, California mussels stay put. They hold on tight while the waves crash over them. Bat stars act as the vacuum cleaners of the tide pool, scavenging for plants and animals, dead or alive. The rocky or tidal is also a really important habitat for a number of important shorebirds. Now actually the most conspicuous shorebird you're going to find out here is the black oyster catcher. Okay, and you'll know it when you see it because one, you'll actually hear it calling, but two, you'll see a big orange bill on this little black bird when you're out here. Now what he does is he actually walks along the shoreline here and he does one of two things. He'll actually go find one of these California mussels and he'll put his bill in there and slice open the mussel and eat them right out of the shell. Or the other great thing that he'll do is he'll find another type of invertebrate out here called a limpet. And what he'll do is he'll peck and he'll peck at it until that little invertebrate comes off the rock and he'll eat it. Tide pools hold an important place in our cultural and scientific history in more ways than one. Just decades ago, the rocky tide pools of Pacific Grove captured the imagination of marine naturalist Ed Ricketts. His interest and exploits were then captured for the world to enjoy by local author and Pulitzer Prize winner John Steinbeck in some of his novels. Tide pools are a feast for the senses. Smell the briny air. Hear the cries of shorebirds. Feel the tug of a powerful wind. And take in the symphony of colors. We're lucky, along California's central coast, that our tide pools are in relatively good health and are protected. Most are part of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, and several are also designated as state marine conservation areas. The best things you can do to help protect tide pools are to tread carefully, be gentle, and replace everything exactly where you find it.